All right, guys, so here we are. We're gonna work on setting up the Icon 2 here um, and get to control my servos and get everything functioning the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna try to keep this basic without getting into all the nitty gritty and, and boring you with as I do this stuff. So we'll try to keep it fairly straightforward. First thing you wanna do, hook your cord up to your computer and then we are going to, I'm not gonna use that adapter here. We are going to plug this guy in. So when I plug that in, you'll see it actually powers up through the computer system. Then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna open up, click on the icon. And right now then it's asking me, I need to do an update. So apparently this one updated. So this is not totally unusual. And you can see this is gonna go through and do its thing here. So I'll just fast forward through this a little bit. Okay, so that wasn't bad. It only t ended up taking 30 to 45 seconds. So basically, just you fill in your transmitter brand, your motor type, all that other kind of stuff. So I can go in here like this one now. I can actually put it in as a Scorpion. Castle, servos, all that kind of good stuff. <clears throat> you can change the heli because actually the heli won't be listed. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to come up here to the icons and we're going to pick which way it's asking, you know, which way the icon is facing. Right now, it's clicked on top up, wires back, because that's how it was. However, when you look, you can see here she's flashing. It's top up, wires front, because it's going, the wires are coming out the front of the heli. So we need to go up here, click top up, wires front right there, and then we can go on to the next window. That's it. That's all we need to do there. If you had it on the side, you know, it gives you all the different options here. Now we're going to go in here and I am all those different receiver options. So I'm using Spectrum DSMX, 11 milliseconds. So I have that one selected. Now I go on to the next part. So it's really setting up the fly barless system is pretty straightforward. This next one has already been done. I have everything plugged in. It's basically telling me what servos plug into what channels in order to make everything work, your ESC, what channel, you know, and, and getting everything all done the right way, Spectrum satellites. Now the calibration part, which is very important, is gonna come up. So we are gonna go here. Um, and actually, I tell you what, I need to go back here and do the spectrum bind, I almost forgot. Down here at the bottom, there's a little thing that clicks and says spectrum bind. So you'll see, when I click this, it's gonna tell me we need to turn off the transmitter, cycle power the unit, disconnecting the USB, and then when I plug in the battery powered, um, I need to get it bound up that way. So we're gonna hit okay. We are going to power off the unit. And then when I actually power this back on, my satellites should be flashing, which they are here, you see this? So I'm going to grab my radio. We're gonna turn this on, gonna hit the bind button, just power on, I'm on the right model. And we're gonna put this into bind. DSMX 11 milliseconds. Bind complete, time has started. So now you'll see we're in, we're solid, so I'm all bound up, so that's perfect. So I'm just gonna set my radio back here to the side again and leave that on because now we are bound up and we can move on. So let's open this back up again since it automatically shuts it down. So now we are all bound up. We're set up. Now on transmitter, as we move my transmitter, you'll see that everything moves. So my aileron stick, when I move it right now, if I go full right, it's only taking me to 72%. So what I need to do is I'm going to go in here to 
servo setup to travel. I'm going to go to aileron. And then as I push right, I'm going to increase my travel. You can kind of see here. So, but I need that number to get up to 100. So now I'm at 100, but my travel is set at 131. Now if I go left, I'm still at 72. And I just start cranking that up. This is important because you need everything to see the 100%. Now the elevator stick, I'm going to go forward, which this is, is going backwards right now. But we are going to take this. Pushing forward, we're going to get to 100%, pull back, and we're going to get that guy to 100%. So now 100, 100, 100, and 100. Now my tail, I'm going to go down to rudder, push to the right, and we're going to increase that one. And we go left, and we increase that one. So it's just super important that you do each one of these. And now my pitch, you can see I'm only going to 78. So I go down here then again. And I choose my pitch. And I go up to 100. And when I go to full negative, I go up to 100. So now you can see everything when I move the sticks, it's all going green no matter what I do. And now the next thing we're going to do is the gyro. <coughs> It'll tell you here, tail gain. So you want to set the gyro gain on the transmitter, show it says a starting value of 45, which is going to be this right here. Right now it shows five, so it's trying to stay in heading lock hold. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to go out here, go to my gyro, and now adjust this up. So as I turn this up, you can see this value going up as well. Hopefully you can see those. So I'm gonna put this up high enough to where this one reads 45. So I'm at 57.5 on my radio. I figured I'd be around there, I usually am. I always leave my channel for gear and my switch on so now you can see the heading lock has the check and is green and everything is looking good this step is probably the most important step of going through of setting up your fly barless system i've seen people not set this up so you're not getting full deflection on your sticks Ten. and then then you're not going to get Hold mode. you know the the proper Deflection to the fly barless system things just aren't talking properly together, you know, and you got issues that way So now we just go on to swash We are Right here. This is looking at the front of the heli forward. This is the swash configuration we have So we choose that one which I already did because that was from the other one servos we are going to go in here and we are going to pick, which is the notes we made earlier. You come over here, and I know my cyclic servos are 1520 um, frame rate, and then with a 333 hertz. So we choose that one here, which is basically shows high-end digital. And then the tail would be the 760, which is correct. So we are on that.